What's up everyone, I am Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATVMC and these are my top five tools that you shouldn't live without. All right, so today I wanna to share with you my top five tools that you shouldn't live without. All these tools are gonna to make specific jobs on your motorcycle easier. Now, I will admit that you do not need these tools to get the job done, but I promise you that once you have them and you use them, you will ask yourself this very simple question, why didn't I have these before? So these are the tools that I think every rider should have in their garage. Now, the first one, is gonna be an exhaust spring puller. We carry these from different brands, very inexpensive. If you've ever removed an exhaust spring, you know a lot of guys just use needle nose pliers. It's a pain in the rear, so pick up one of these. If you look at the product page, it has one bullet point. It says to make removing exhaust springs simple. I don't need to say a whole lot more. So save yourself the curse words that you're gonna be saying in your garage when you're trying to do this without one of these. Pick up an exhaust spring puller. Second tool is going to be an impact driver. Now I'm gonna say that on my top 10 list of things that frustrate me the most, I'm gonna say top three is gonna be stripping out screws, especially on my motorcycle. So do yourself a favor, an impact driver is gonna help you remove screws on your motorcycle without the fear of stripping them, or if you do have a, a screw that's already stripped, this is gonna help you get those out. You can also use it to actually put screws in as well. The way it works is very simple. It comes with four eight millimeter hex bits. You're gonna have two flatheads, two Phillips. You're just gonna take it, insert it into the screw, give it a whack with a hammer, and that's gonna help get it out. Very simple, very inexpensive. So do yourself a favor, save the money you're gonna use on anger management classes when you're stripping screws, and pick one of these up. So my third tool is gonna to be a spoke torque wrench. Now the reason I put this in my top five is because when it comes to your motorcycle wheels, having your spokes torqued correctly is very important. You always wanna look at your owner's manual because they will give specific recommendations as far as what your torque setting should be. But you wanna make sure they're not over or under tightened because that can cause your wheel to be out of true and actually cause damage to your wheel or your hub. Now yes, you can use just a regular spoke wrench to tighten up your spokes. However, it's hard to know if you're under or over tightening those. So I say spend a little bit of extra money, get a spoke torque wrench because you will set the torque setting and you know, it just gives you that peace of mind that when you're, when you're tightening your spokes, you're gonna have it set correctly in exactly where they should be. So that's gonna be my third tool is a spoke torque wrench. We do have those from a couple different brands. All right, so my fourth tool, my fourth tip is gonna be a sag scale. Now when it comes to your bike, I've said this in multiple videos and I will say it again, measuring your sag is crucial. You wanna make sure you get your sag set correctly. Look at your owner's manual just like with your spokes. They are gonna give recommendations of where your sag should be at. Before you even mess with your suspension clickers, you should have your sag set. Now normally, what I still see a lot of riders doing is using the old tape measure. It, it works, but you gotta take a couple measurements and then you gotta do some math to simplify it, get yourself a sag scale, they're inexpensive and it's gonna give you an instant and accurate measurement. It's gonna make the job a whole lot easier. And probably my favorite feature, it doubles as a back scratcher. Oh, it feels good. Now if you do wanna simplify the job even more, you can go from a sag scale and we have the Motul Digital Sag Scale that takes what would normally be a minimum two man job with the sag scale, makes it to where you can measure your sag with just one person. But that's gonna be my fourth tool, my fourth tip is pick up a sag scale. Oh, also, if you've never set sag, you're not sure how to do it or what to do there, make sure you watch our how to set sag video. We show you how to do it and how to adjust your sag as well. Now my fifth and final tool that's gonna be up here gonna be a chain press tool. The reason I love these, they're inexpensive. And when you're installing a new chain, you have that masculine side plate. Well, especially on your O-ring and X-ring chains, it's a very tight tolerance with the pins. So a lot of times you have to press that side plate on there and you have to get it on far enough to get your master link clip on. However, see a lot of guys that just try and use pliers. Yes, it'll work, but it's a pain in the butt. So the chain press tool, it's gonna make it easy to press that on and do it evenly and make it easy to get your master link clip on. Now going along with that, one little bonus tip that I have for you is the master link pliers. The reason I love these is when you're putting that master link side clip on, well, these are actually specialty cut at the tip it's gonna allow you to get a grip on the pin as well as the master link clip to either remove it or put it on. It makes it much, much easier. And there they are. Those are my top five tools that I think no rider should live without. Again, you do not need these to get the job done, but they will make them easier. And I'm telling you, once you have them and you use them, you will ask yourself the question, why didn't you have those before? Now, if you guys have any tools that you like to use that you feel make the job easier, well, make sure, comment below, let us know what those are. To pick up any of the tools that we talked about today, click on the link or head over to our website at rockymountainatvmc.com. Do not forget that orders over $75 ship free. 
And if you haven't yet, make sure to click subscribe to us on YouTube. We have a lot of great how-to videos, product spotlights, and gear guides that can get you guys set for your next ride. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain, and we'll see you on the trails.